Hello, folks, this is Jeffrey JD2, and I'm here about to play my 84th gameplay of the Pokemon Trading Card game online for the PC. Going to feature a new deck that I just created, featuring some of the cards for the Lewis set team up. It's my Lola and Mark Garbodor deck, so let's see how the deck works. I'll show you here, and then we'll play a game with the hope we get one with this deck, so how the deck works. Okay, here it is. Let's get it loaded up here. And this, so Lola, okay, so Garbodor's our main attacker. It's got 120 HP as a stage 1 psychic type. For one second, it just trash the lens. It does 20 times base, but the attack does 20 damage for each item card you points in the squad pile. So the more items they play, the more damage it does. Pretty good in the late game because they play most of the items during the late game, and you can hit big numbers with trash lunch. And as you play for a psychic and double colorless, it does 70 damage for corner heads, discard energy from the opponent's active Pokemon. Not using the attack, which is mainly using the first attack, which is for trash lunch. How do you get more items to the squad pile? A lot of mark from the new team offset will do that. It has an ability called Venture Advertise, so I want to tell you HP base on stage 1 Dark type. Adventure's Advertise ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to above one of your Pokemon during this your turn, you may look at the top 6 cards of your opponent's deck and discard any number of item cards you find there. This will shuffle the other cards back to the deck. So, when you roll a little more, you get the more items they get, the more damage Trash Lash does. So we get, we play a 4-3-1 line of these to get as many items in the pot discard pile as they can, and then we get hit for big numbers with Garbodor. So let's run the whole deck down. So I won't do a prism star with the all many evolutionary abilities, stage one uh colorless type, normal type, 40 HP. Once during the turn before you attack, you may put any stage one card from your hand onto this Pokemon to act to it. You can't use this ability during your first turn on this turn of Pokemon, or the turn this Pokemon is put into play. So it could be a Garbodor or a Lola Muck. So it gives, gives us an extra one of those just in case. You play one of my goals for that ability, draw to have three cards, 20 HP, colorless type, colorless type, basic. Not really just like attack for the three colors, just using for the truck to get more cards because you still, we need to get a support out there. They play a 4 4 line of Alolan, 4 3 1 line of Alolan Muck. Play this Alolan Muck 2 as well, which is pretty good. Stage 1, Psychic Attack 120. It has a really cool power alchemy. Each basic Pokemon play, each player's hand, and each player's card pile has no ability. So stuff like Giratina, the new Jirachi, stuff some Rangaroo, stuff Tapu Lele. So any of those abilities they don't have, they, we can stop them all with that alone. Let's see if they play those cards. And attack, we're not really using cards for two sides to a uh, double colorless, daily damage, from the corner hand, and score energy for the Pokemon. Same attack as actually spray. They play a full line of Golbador, as we saw, that's all the Pokemon right there, so let's do the trainers. Play one energy with Psycho to get back that second card to the deck, or one to the hand. Two Fuel Blows to get rid of those two they attach, so we can get put extra damage to uh, Golbador's Trash and Lash ability. Attack. Now we to get back those uh, Pokemon from the deck, or one to the hand. Four Switch because of Pokemon very high retreat cards. Monk I know has a three retreat cards, and Golbador has also three retreat cards, and I have a two retreat cards. So as soon as we get stuck, we can just switch them out and get them attacking again. Four Ultra Ball to get our Pokemon, despite the two cards. Then we play four Shrine and Punishment on Stadiums, we're gonna go GX or EX to attack down. Then we play four Cynthia for the draw support, the best draw support in the game, for have six. Draw somebody hand, draw six. Two Goose Ball to get those key knockouts, and we need to stall. Uh, we can get, uh, uh, those key, uh, get, uh, key knockouts, and we can stall to set up as well. Then we play two Judge, so you can uh, stall further with the, uh, just because they search out, they have a big hand. We can, get, we can minimize the options that way. Then we have four Lily, draw to have six, but we better your first turn, you draw to have eight. One versus Kukui, draw two cards, get an extra draw card, and get an extra 20 damage, just because we need it. And then two Lily lines, either switch or shuffle, draw five. And then we finally run off, we we'll play with four, uh, three choice packs to increase those, uh, GX attack, uh, ja damage to GX by 30, so we get those key knockouts. And then we play eight second energy throughout the deck. So that's the deck right there, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed the description. Let's get to the game with this deck. Hopefully, we get to get away with this deck right here. I know a lot of uh, governors showed a lot of success in the past with Espeon from uh, Sun and Moon base side. I think he got second place in the tournament a long time ago. I missed that deck a lot. Because I had to trash uh, the uh, Gobble Attack Symbol, which is no longer legal. So playing as LBI Reaper, playing a metal and colorless deck. Let's see who we're playing against. So he's going to call a point clip. We like to win so we get set, we can have a priority set up. And we do win the coin clips, we're definitely going first. Let's see our hand. Okay, this is a decent hand. Oh, we like to get uh, we have trouble and a grind, which is good. Let's see if I'm gonna need this little low on buck here. I don't, I don't know what I'm playing against yet, but we're gonna find out right now. Okay, he took two mulligans. Okay, some kind of metal deck. This is actually tool drop. With a do blade. With the two drop with the, with the two drop attack, which is pretty good because they play a lot of items. I give you those two cards as well, so they can't get those key knockouts. This is the start with. Okay, I'll draw my two cards. Cynthia and a switch. We're definitely gonna play Cynthia this round. Oh, let's ultra ball first. 
We got a little bit of a lily and a twitch to grab another trubbish. And then we'll sit there for a new hand of six. That, uh, that, that, I can see this a little bit being useful. You can start this Jirachi ability so they can't get those tools out. Okay, oh, we have a little bit for next time, which is good. We're gonna attach the uh, trap, try to the trubbish and pass. Let's see what our opponent does. Let's see if we can take Eliza, we can get that low and muck out. Start to get any random cards away right away. We have to keep our item cards, we have to keep our item cards, uh, our item cards on as well. So, if you want to have a stellar wish ability that you draw to your five. Oh, no, you put your five cards in your trainer, put it to your hand. You try to stop now, the other Jirachi, you try to escape, put it to the Jirachi, place a stellar wish ability. With the top five, put your trainer, put it to his hand. Let's see what trainer he gets. He gets an Ultra Ball, okay, Ultra Ball is good because he gets, that's good, again, with an item right there. He goes, he goes to sleep after it. That's already one item used. You have to take care of resistance too because we are, they are resistant to um, psychic. So you switch to the other Jirachi using the second Stellar Wish ability. This one's gonna grab Cynthia, okay? So we're about to use the support for the turn. You're gonna use that Ultra Ball he discovered with, uh, he grabbed with uh, the first Jirachi here. So the Jirachi goes to sleep. Then we're going to just lower them up right away. Just get those M's out as much as possible. So you're going to see the Ultra Ball. The Scotting. It's already wine. Now, a Guzma and a Metal Energy. Probably going to grab like a Hornage or something like that. Yep, the Hornage. The Blade has the Double Colors attack. Uh, two grab the third attack, so you can your attack. Uh, it's attached to the field. So that's that. I'm going to attack the Tatcha Torch Fan. Tatcha's a blend, a, a, a memory engine to the Hornage. Tatcha Torch Fan to the Hornage as well. And then we're going to probably see that same thing. Uh, this is our uh, Genesect GX with that double drive boost. So you can have two tools attached to it instead of one. When the ability get, get disappears, you only keep one, one tool on it. So we see a Nest Boss. We got two hundred items down already. But to all the dots of this truck, we need to spot five items. Probably see a Nest Boss for another Hornage here. Tied with Metal Fire and Fast Fuel with Hornage. Metal Goggles to the Genesec GX, and he's gonna pass and the store, the right is still asleep. Throw a Goggle, which is very good. That's a good top deck right there. Tied a second to the Bench Club, which is also the Goggle Door. Also, both to the Lone Mark, using the advantage of that Avatar ability. Let's see how many items we got. We got zero items. Wow, that's crazy. So it's Double A, Hard Fast Hunter, Jasmine, and Metal Energy, and a Metal Energy, that's fine. So we'll take Eliza for 5 cards. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a Ball of Fillable, which is excellent. So we'll draw the Ditto. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. Discarding the uh, Choice Bat and the Field Ball to get a Rangaroo. So he's in the deck, and he is, which is good. Oops, I'm gonna lose the one off. Start the Rangaroo, we're gonna Field Ball the Apply the choice, the metal fine pad and the choice band off the, no, that's choice band, the escape off the Jirachi. And then we're gonna start with three cards here. So we, got, we get Cynthia, George, and a uh, second. So that's bad. So we'll have a support next one. We'll try to to 50 damage. No, that will be a knockout, but thanks to the resistance of Jirachi, that's not a knockout. Let's see what we're gonna do here. The so fly is down already. We can make this either a little mark or a trap or a goblin the next so I definitely probably want another eleven mark. So as far as I guess I'll have five cards. Eric will have to use the force female set that says um You draw if you you only can play this card if you have four or less cards in your hand, you draw you have you draw one card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. So I did have five Pokemon in play, so you draw five cards. So this is Stella Wish, gonna grab the metal goggles. He's probably definitely looking for an escape rope, escape board here, or an escape rope. Tied the metal goggles to the, the uh, do, uh, Hunters once again. Metal goggles do the attack by 30. And then uh, the opponent's attack uh, b uh, base abilities cannot put damage counters on it. I need to see a pass, okay. 
sewer drawer. We draw another grime and we can put that down. Let's send in again. So we get, oh, we get the other one. The other one is nice here because it starts to ratchet up together and Genesec. So we're going to put another one back. And we're going to just attack for the knockout. That's something we can do. Okay. Let's see what it gets here. We got a switch, which is good. Then we're going to look at this double blade. Oh, uh, this Honor is going to come with a double blade. Now it stops to Rachi. I'm sorry, the battery is almost just fine. You can see the double blade coming up. He needs a little tool to take the, take the back on his garbage. You can see a Jasmine. Jasmine is a little caught in the two more set. Let's just search for the metal Pokemon. But if you go second, you can search up the five metal Pokemon instead. So we get some Magirna out. So Magirna has the ability called Change Clothes. You guys can just swap tools around. We turn the tools back to your point of your point to your hand. So does he have that fourth tool? We need another Garbage out this turn. A little warm up would be nice too. Let's see. Up, let's go to the body building doubles given uh, to the uh, Tadjit to the Magina. Tadjit to the body building to the Jirachi. Ah, so they think he's definitely going to take a knockout here. We have to get another garbage out this turn. Here, two drops for 150 damage. Take the knockout. So we're starting with the other Trubbish. So let's get another Trubbish out this turn too as well. So we need another garbage out ready. It's our turn now. Let's see what we got. We draw a Shrine of Punisher. I'm going to attach put the Shrine because it gets Lucas Genesect. I'm going to judge for four cards. Let's see if we get another Garbodor out. Uh, Fortunately, we do not. We do get another Grimer. I think I'm going to switch to the Oranguru and I'm going to pass. I don't want to keep that Trubbish act alive. Uh, I'll, I'll pass. I'll pass. So Zarya gets weakened. So he draws. There's another blue blade coming down. See a Pidgey coming down. Try to choice that to the Pidgey. Here's a little extra tool. Yep, it takes a knockout. We never have the trouble, we need to get a Goblin out this turn. All the rest of the we did put the Goblin back to our hand. Okay, so I know the Janice that gets weakened. Go on last second, just completely dead. I'm gonna definitely retreat here. And I'm gonna send out the, this alone and muck here. I'm gonna pass. Go to the best folks, but it's okay. We can still try to get we can still edge it out here hopefully. We need to knock this out. The Pidgeot for this is also from the new team upset. It has the ability uh, AML, which allows us to pick two cards, the top two cards from the deck. You pick, okay, so, you both the Aegis Slash. Okay, so it has the ability to uh, steal, so we will be on by 40 less damage from that, so more of a guard. Then we're gonna set our Trubbish again. You need to get a draw support at all, so I'm gonna this turn. We we'll draw a Guzma. Oh, Guzma can use the star, actually. Uh, we can set out the Genesect, actually. That's my idea. I'll send my low, one of my lower grinders out. I'll attach the energy to the Trubbish and I'll pass. Uh, oh, shit, I'm Division. I get all the grinders in my deck out a little bit more. I think I'll go to the ground for the next. I have another low and ready for next turn. I'm going to our turn. Let's hope that Genesect stays in the active spot. Oh, no, it's gonna retreat out. He's got the double card, he's gonna take another round with the tool drop. I need to do our two orders with the ultimate. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's only doing 50 damage to the truck, to the side. We'll pull out this grimer. Five weeks out further. So that's, oh, that's just because it's helpful. We'll put the gobble back to our hand. So we're already attacking next turn. I think we lose this game no matter what. We can't knock this out. Oh, I can't multiply again because I don't know what I'm going to do in the back. I pass. 
I was gonna have all the muscles try and we have to get all the items in this car power so we try to uh hopefully knock out this age slash with uh with the with the items. We'll be able to sell the items with the this car power, we'll get the lower muck. We'll set up Garbador. Let's see what we get. We got 12, so that's, that's the game right there, folks. It was attacked. So I'm going to do 50 damage. 60, actually. Oh. So I'm going to work out as much as possible. That kind of got you right there. So there's a memory to the, the blade as well. Jazz is finally Jazz with another AG Slash. So it's awesome again. Sorry for that, I'm going to work out as well as a squad of folks. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now. Oh, we got this uh, bonus done. That looks good. Got 16 more tokens. And then we got to pick another one. Uh, I'll pick this one. Alright. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.